Hello everyone, here are the latest market news on December the 13th, 2019. British PM Johnson wins majority in election. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson won decisive and powerful majority in Thursday's general election that rewards the political map of Britain and gives the mandate he needs to pull the UK out of the European Union next month. The outcome was a stark repudiation of the main opposition Labour Party under Jeremy Corbyn and his radical program of state intervention, nationalization of key industries and tax rises for the better off. Corbyn announced his intention to resign after a catastrophic run of losses to the Tories in Brexit-supporting districts in Northern England and Wales. These areas were considered traditional Labour strongholds and Johnson's success here was the breakthrough that secured his victory. The US offers new terms for deal with China. Washington offered to cut existing tariffs on Chinese goods by as much as 50 percent and suspend the new tariffs scheduled for Sunday in order to secure a phase one deal first promised in October. In return, Beijing would agree to buy $50 billion in U.S. agricultural goods in 2020, double what it bought in 2017, before the trade conflict started, two U.S.-based sources briefed on the talk set. U.S. President Donald Trump and his top advisors agreed on the terms for a proposal, possibly a final offer, and were now waiting for Beijing to sign off in writing. However, Chinese Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Hua Chong-in did not comment on whether the two sides had reached an agreement for the terms of any deal with the United States. Shares jump amid trade progress and Johnson's wing. World's indexes traded on record highs as a progress in the China-U.S. trade deal and British PM Johnson's win the general election delivered the twin boost to the global markets. Europe's pan-regional benchmark stock 600 looked set to open almost 1.5 percent higher, while London's FTSE futures added only 0.2 percent, perhaps because a conservative win had already been priced in. MSC Ice broadest the index of Asia-Pacific shares outside Japan rose 1.5 percent to its highest since late April, while Japan's Nikkei surged 2.5 percent to a 14-month top, and Shanghai blue chips jumped 2 percent. On Thursday, Wall Street had celebrated the trade news with record highs. The door ended session with an open 79 percent gain, while the S&P 500 climbed 0.86 percent and the Nasdaq soared 0.73 percent. Delivery Hero by South Korea's UWA for $4 billion Germany's delivery hero has agreed to buy South Korea's top food delivery app operator Wuwa Brothers for $4 billion and from a large joint venture like Uber Eats to operate in fast-growing Asia markets. This move, which was announced on Friday by Uwa, marks the biggest global deal for a food delivery app. Uwa said that the sale was a survival strategy in an intensely competitive market and also the biggest deal involving a South Korean internet firm. Delivery hero's Jogio app ranks second behind Uwa's battle Minjong, but the second leader faces stiff competition from rivals such as e-commerce firm Coupin, baked by Japan's SoftBank Group.